Hey, how are you? Got a great video here on team building, a super important piece of the puzzle of that, which is called a one-on-one -on -one meeting. I'll explain to you how I do it, you know, how they work, why they're beneficial. And you know, my number one goal here is to bring you as much value as I possibly can so that you can take some of this, apply it to your business, not make the same mistakes as me and expedite your process. That's really my number one goal here. I want to bring more value than anyone else in the, in the industry. So let's dive into it. All right, so as I mentioned, this is a really, really important piece of the puzzle of growing your business. And guys, real quick, before I dive into it, if you get any value from these, please give a like, please subscribe if you want, you don't have to, and drop a comment. Thank you. So, as I mentioned, this is a super, super important piece of the puzzle. You know, in any business that's really scaling, and it needs people, like you can't do this all by yourself. So if you're a one-man shop, or if you have a big team already, and you know, you need to listen to this, take a listen, because it's really important. So, you have people, and you know, people operating at, you know, 100% are usually happy and they're usually in a good spot. Like think about when you're operating at 100%. You usually operate at 100% when you are feeling happy, you understand what you got to do, you have everything organized, everything's ready and dialed in. So that's very important for your team as well because you are a leader. You can't just expect everybody to know exactly everyone to be in a happy mood all the time. So what you got to do is have what's called a one-on-one -on -one meeting. A one-on-one -on -one meeting is what we do once every couple weeks, um, every two weeks exactly. I bring somebody in, we sit down here and we kind of discuss, you know, what their activity roles are, you know, how they're feeling, what's motivating them, what makes them do what they do, why do they even feel happy to come in here, or what makes them happy, you know, what is their end goal, is there, are they motivated by money, you know, is it just, the, you know, helping more people, is it to take care of their family one day, to buy a car, to buy a house, like whatever it might be, I write that stuff down, I really internalize it, and I take it seriously like a human being, like I am here to coach you, I am not just here to, um, you know, make money off of you because at the end of the day you know yeah they're helping build the business but we're all human beings here we're all sitting together and we're trying to help each other as a team um, I'm just as good as my team so and the business is just as good as them too so I really really feel passionate about these kind of one-on-one -on -one meetings it's my opportunity to bring value to people and like I just believe in bringing as much value as possible and like that will help everything will come back to you I always say it like you know, if you can help enough other people get what they want, you'll eventually get what you want. So I really, really take these personally and I want to help them. And even I tell them straight up, let's keep open communication. Even if like you're like, hey, Chris, like it's just not for me. You know, like this thing is just not for me. I can't be here anymore. Like I got to go. I would be like, you know what? That's totally fine. Let me see if I can help you find another job. Straight up, Mike. Let's see if we like, can find you another job. Um, so we sit down. I, I always want to stay a little like, you know, prepared for these kind of meetings. I know what I'm going to ask the team. I like to ask, especially early on. One of the important things is like, you know, are you comfortable with me giving you feedback on certain things? Um, or if I see something that maybe you're doing, you, know, I could, I, you can improve or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Are you comfortable with that? Have them buy into it. And then they'll really see you kind of be that coach. Like they'll <clears throat> feel like this Chris isn't just here to critique constructively everything I do just to make him, him more money. It's like, I want to help you get where you want to go. And are you comfortable with me helping you tweak a few things? Um, so they'll nine out of 10 times say yes. And if they don't, then that's a, probably a red flag. Like why is your team member saying like, no, 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 don't, don't tell me what to do. That's, that's a red flag. Make sure that they buy into that. Um, another thing is like, how do you like to be managed? You know, if something I see you doing something, how do you like to be managed? Do you like me to tell you straight up? Do you like me to email you? Do you like, how do you want to talk? Do you want me to bring you in here? We can talk about it. Um, so it's all important questions and, and, and I won't dive into all of them that I ask, but they're really, really beneficial for multiple, multiple reasons. So, um, you know, it's going to keep them efficient. It's going to keep them happy knowing what they're actually doing on a day to day. One of the worst things is having someone be frustrated, not knowing like what their activity roles are. You know, if they have something kind of lingering, like they got in a little, you know, you got a little passive aggressive one day and they're like, hey, what was that about? Like, you really want to have that open communication and talk things through, even like what the future entails, like what do you have planned for the future? It's a really, really positive experience. I've always walked out of one-on-one -on -one meetings 
um, you know, that's the goal is to make sure everybody kind of feels positive and happy. And, and, and I hope that's what my team feels too. I feel it for sure. So I think it's really, really beneficial just to keep everybody kind of, you know, united and not, and, and to feel heard at the end of the day, like my team and, and I even want to say stuff to them. Sometimes it's like, we want to have this kind of shut the door moment where it's like, we can talk and have this clear kind of, um, everybody gets heard. So another thing is like the consistency of it. I've also had, you know, been falling in and out of it. It's really, really important to stay on track with this stuff. Um, and you don't want to, you know, do it for one month and then not for another month. You want to keep it consistent. Always every other two weeks, have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Um, so another big thing I want to point out here is John Wooden. I don't know if you know who John Wooden is. John Wooden was a uh, UCLA bas basketball coach where he was known to be one of the best coaches in, in history for sports ever. Um, he won a ton of seasons in a row. And one of the interesting things about him was he never talked about winning. Um, all he talked about was bringing 100% you know, performance out of his team on a regular basis. So that's also what I'm thinking here too. It's my goal. It's like there's, it's a waste of time to talk about winning. We are, should only be focused about bringing 100% out of each and every one of us on a daily basis because 100% should result in a win. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter because that is 100%. Like you gave 100%. There's no such thing as 110%. Like literally there's only 100%. That's all that exists. 110 doesn't make sense. It doesn't exist. So everybody's like, I'm giving it 110%. Doesn't exist. There's only 100%. So you want to get as close to 100% as you possibly can. That's your number one max. Like that is, you know, you're performing optimally and, and, and to your best. Um, so that's my goal here as a coach. Um, I want to, you know, make sure everyone does feel that way. Like, hey, Chris is like, when they walk out of here on the one on one meeting, um, they feel more empowered to make more money, to do whatever it is to get on their way to their goal and um, just feel happy. So at the end of the day, that's really kind of my number one goal. And, and I think at, even as we scale, um, even managers will eventually have to do the one-on-ones. Um, it's still at an early stage where I can have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with everybody and it takes me a couple hours. It's not anything crazy. It still does take up a lot of time, but it is so worth it, guys. I'm telling you that this have been these have been some of the most uh, impactful things that I could do with my agency. Like if you just leave your people unheard and you just kind of shut the door, let them do their thing, close the door, start making calls, everybody do their thing, activities, guaranteed, guaranteed, eventually somebody's going to start being like, ah, I hate this place, man. I don't know what's going on here. Like Chris is never like, you know, he's just always on the phone. He never helps me out, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know what it could be going on through their heads. I'm just making up random stuff, but that, this is an opportunity to clear that up, you know, make sure that they're, um, feeling good and they're on point and that's that's it so that's the one-on-one -on -one meeting once every two weeks it's going to help you build your team it's going to keep everything on track and get you on your way to more success um, and to more efficiency a bigger team bigger agency more premium on the books more calls everything that you're looking for is going to be enhanced by that so small window of time even if it's one person literally do a one-on-one -on -one person with one team member like if it's your first employee you have to do it um, so that's all I got. Hopefully that helps. I hope you can tell like I'm really, really trying to help you here. And also if you've watched thus far, um, thus far, this far, <laughs> um, I also am doing a quick little like promotion um, from now until the end of February. I'm going to be doing 50% off the consulting calls, all the coaching calls on chriscostantini.com. Um, you can actually go on there and book a call. What I'm going to do, uh, by the time you see this video, we will make sure that it's 50% uh, off. Right now it's like 150 per call for an hour consulting call. Um, and we're going to make it 75. Like I say, guys, I really, really want to be like the number one person bringing the most value to the insurance industry. And at like my expense, like I'm taking up time, energy, and you know, yeah, I get paid for those, but like, that's because my time is extremely valuable nowadays because I'm like building the team and stuff. So um, I'm making it 50% off because I want to just reach more people. If you're thinking about it, you're like, hey, I was thinking about doing consulting calls. It's kind of expensive. 75 bucks. If you're interested for one hour, I think it'll bring a lot of value to you in the long term. Like it could make you hundreds, if not, you know, thousands of dollars in the future. I, I really believe that because, um, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes. Um, I'm only four years in, but I've made a lot of mistakes and I've built it to where we're at now, just a little over, you know, approaching two, two million in premium and then in, in, in about four years, which isn't anything insane, but we're a team of now five and we're getting two million, about to hit two million soon. 
and uh, we're gonna we're going for three, we're going for five, we're going for ten, and we're going after it. And I'm learning like crazy too. So want to bring some value to you. Hopefully that helps, guys. If you do have any value, get any value, like, subscribe, ring the bell, ding, ding, ding. Um, it helps me keep it going so that I can try to reach more people. And please, guys, if you do get any value, help me on my mission to be the number one guy in the insurance industry, bringing more value than anyone else. That's my number one goal. So um, hopefully that helps. Hope you're getting value. I hope you're building your business quickly and efficiently. And this video may have helped. So uh, that's all I got. We will see you guys at the top. Peace.